to Unit 5 of Teaching Methods. This unit is entitled Curriculum. And as I alluded to in previous lessons and in previous videos, my goal for this class is that you can take the material that you've learned and apply that to published curriculum. Can you pick up a, a publisher's uh, teaching manual and look at a lesson and make it work for you? Perhaps you pick it up and you read through it and you think this is really great in terms of the content or the head knowledge, but I don't see a lot of application or hands. So what can I add to this lesson to make it work so that my students understand the material in their heads and in their hearts and in their hands? We're going to look at um, advantages and disadvantages of curriculum. We're going to look at uh, characteristics that should be present in good curriculum. And then again, we're going to look at samples of curriculum together and learn how to take elements that I've taught you in this class, um, hook, book, look, and took, and what correlates to those lesson elements in published curriculum. Again, you may be tasked as a staff person at your church to choose curriculum for your church, and you need to be able to evaluate that curriculum based on what you know to be um, good in terms of methodology, good in terms of lesson structure, good in terms of answering those two questions. What do I want my students to learn and how do I want my students to change? Not all curriculum is created equally, unfortunately, and you can't just rely on a, the name of a publisher to assume that a curriculum is a good curriculum. So we're going to learn how to evaluate curriculum as well. There will be several lessons in this unit. One of those will be just understanding curriculum in general, looking at pros and cons, looking at uh, characteristics, again, of curriculum. And then we're going to actually be looking at samples of curriculum. I'm going to have um, screenshots of uh, teacher's guides of several major publishers, and we're going to look at um, a particular lessons and the elements of those lessons to determine if these are appropriate for the age group, if they will be appropriate in terms of head, heart, and hands, and what we could do to make those better. Based on that information, you're actually going to be creating as your major assignment for this unit a PowerPoint as if you were recommending to your church whether or not to adopt a certain publisher, um, a certain published curriculum. I'm going to take you through that process. If you go to assignments and scroll down to curriculum PowerPoint, I've put some sample PowerPoints up there for you. I've given you very clear instructions on how I want you to evaluate a lesson of a published curriculum. But again, to go back to that metaphor we talked about in Unit 4, if you, like the banker, know what a good dollar bill is, you can recognize a counterfeit. If you, as a teacher, know what a good lesson should include, then you can look at published curriculum and make those lessons stronger. So check your syllabus, check your course schedule for due dates, make sure you get those assignments submitted on time, and I'll see you at the end of the unit. Bye-bye.